Let me just begin with just giving you a little backdrop of a story that happened back in April of 1912. Um, in South Harbor in New York, you would remember the ship by the name of the Titanic. But this is a backstory that is little known that I think has great relevance to us here because the second officer, David Blair, contained a little key with him and at the last minute when the Titanic was getting ready to leave, they switched him off of the ship and his replacement, a man by the name of Charles uh, Tolliver, came and took his place and after the Titanic had pulled out into the water, Second Officer David Blair realized that he had this key that went to a locker in the crow's nest of the Titanic that contained special binoculars. And these binoculars, because in 1912, this, these were pre-sonar days, it gave them in the crow's nest the ability to look out into the water and see anything that may be a threat to the ship. But since they did not have the key because David Blair forgot to leave the key to his replacement, they had to depend on the naked eye. And the naked human eye couldn't see the icebergs in the water fast enough in order for the ship to turn. And so my question is what is it that is potentially lurking ahead of you that you can't see? What's lurking ahead of you and the people that are coming after us to replace us, have we given them the keys? that will be able to see down the road and avert danger. That's the question that I want us as apostolic leaders to think about. What is it that we can see? What is it that the Apostle Kellys can see? What is it that people like my beloved president, uh, Dr. Ronald Carl, what is it that we can see? that we need to give to another generation. It is my prayer, God, don't let us die until we have been able to show your power to another generation. That's my prayer. We wanna be able to give them binoculars. Every father, every apostolic leader to the ones who have to come after them, we need to be leaving keys. And for them to pull off and not have the keys that will unlock vision and understanding and insight and revelation, it will let you see it before you need it. The word provision literally means to see a need before you have the need and then to provide it. God, who is our Jehovah Jireh, the Lord, our provider. It means literally to see before, prover, to see before. You see the need before you have the need. And then God prepared it. God sent Jesus from the foundation of the world to be slain because he saw the need of our sin before he ever created us. He had foresight. He saw it and provided it. And here on the Titanic, there were the binoculars that could have given them the, the ability, and we see it in the, in the spiritual sense as prophetic vision. And the, the things, the foolish things that the current generation is doing is because they lack prophetic vision. If they could see the roads that they are going down, that they don't lead to any place of life there is a way that seemeth right to a man in his own eyes but the end thereof is destruction and 
they can't see that the bridge is out where they're trying to go. And they think that they have something new, new concepts and new ideas. But I, I'm, I'm telling you, I would rather have uh, knowledge, wisdom of the ages than knowledge of the moment. And the truth of the matter is this, is that the farther back that we look, the farther ahead that we are liable to see. And these divine binoculars, this is spiritual prophetic vision. It is what our generation lacks. I am absolutely amazed what it does when prophetic men and women will look into a younger person's eyes and speak thus saith the Lord and connect them to a divine purpose, something comes alive in them. When you can see something in them that they cannot see in themselves, something comes alive on the inside of them. They need the keys that unlock the locker in the crow's nest. And we don't want to be like the Elijah's, the Elisha's that go to the grave with anointing power there so that other, a dead soldier's body is thrown there and then they're revived. The crypt is not a place for that power. It's designed for the earth. And we want to be able to give these, the keys that will unlock the things that will give them prophetic vision so they can see it ahead of time and build and prepare for where they're going. And so...